Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to talk about insider truths about thyroid blood test because most of the people are not getting the right thyroid blood tests. Hello everyone. I am Dr. Anshul Gupta. I am a thyroid expert. I help people make personalized functional medicine plans to help reverse their thyroid conditions. So let's talk about all the thyroid blood tests that you need to get and what is the right way of doing them. So in this, the first test that you need to get is TSH, which is a thyroid stimulating hormone. Now, this is the most common test that everyone is getting it. And this is the only test most people get. But it's very important to get the complete thyroid profile. But let's talk about TSH first. So TSH, most people don't know, is not even a thyroid hormone test. It is a thyroid hormone which is secreted by your pituitary gland to send a signal to your thyroid gland to start producing thyroid hormone. Now, if you're only doing the TSH test, then you're not doing a complete thyroid profile. So most people get diagnosed with a thyroid condition only by doing TSH. Oftentimes, TSH is normal, but people have all the symptoms of thyroid disorder. And that's the exact reason that you need to do other thyroid tests also to see what's going on with your body. Now, most commonly, if TSH is high, people are diagnosed with low thyroid disorder and they get started with a medications. Or if they are very low in TSH, then they're diagnosed with hyperthyroidism and they are given treatment accordingly. But research suggests that sometimes TSH can be abnormal in certain other conditions, like if you have underlying inflammation in your body, if you have underlying infections in your body but your other thyroid hormones might be normal. So that is the reason that you need to do a complete thyroid profile and not rely only on TSH. So let's talk about the other thyroid tests that you need to get so that you do a complete thyroid test. Second blood test to get is T4 blood test. Now T4 is an inactive thyroid hormone which your thyroid produces and that goes into your body and different parts of your body and starts doing its action. So it is very important to check T4 hormone levels. Now there are two kinds of tests you can do, a total T4 and a free T4. It is important to do both total and free T4 so that you are knowing whether your thyroid is producing enough total T4 and the free T4 is the actual T4 which is doing the function in your body. So you need to check both of those things. The next test to get is T3 hormone levels. Now, as I suggested, your thyroid gland produces T4 hormone, which is an inactive uh, thyroid hormone. It needs to go to your body and gets converted into the active thyroid hormone, which is the T3. So this T3 is a major hormone which your body is utilizing to do the job. So it is very important to actually check this T3 hormone levels in your body to know how much T3 hormone is reaching your cells of your body. Now, again, it is very important to check the free T3 hormone levels so your body knows how much it is getting the actual T3. So by checking these three hormone levels, T3, T4 and TSH, then you will know whether you are actually having a thyroid problem or not. But don't stop over here because there are other tests you need to do to do a complete thyroid profile. The other test is to check whether you have Hashimoto's disease or autoimmune thyroid conditions. Because the number one reason of thyroid conditions currently world over is Hashimoto's disease and nobody's checking for it. And you need to check for it right today. So the test to check for Hashimoto's disease is called thyroid antibodies. The two antibody tests that you need to get today is TPO antibodies, which is the thyroid peroxidase antibody test. And the second one is thyroglobulin test. If any of these antibodies are high for you, that means you have Hashimoto's disease that means you are suffering from an autoimmune condition of your thyroid gland and you need to lower these antibodies to safeguard your thyroid. So you see, this is what the complete thyroid profile looks like. So you exactly know what is going on with your body so you can take relevant action. The next question most people have is that, what is the right way of doing these tests and what is the right time of doing these tests? So the right time of doing these tests is actually in the morning. And it's very important to do these tests empty stomach. You can drink some water, but I will not prefer you to have eaten your breakfast or any food because your thyroid function does get affected with the kind of food you are consuming in your body. So it is important to do the thyroid function test empty stomach early in the morning. Now, research suggests that 30% of people 
will have normal TSH levels, but they still will have thyroid issues. So it is very important to get a complete thyroid profile so you get diagnosed with the right thyroid condition. So that's the reason it is very essential to get the right thyroid blood test so you get diagnosed with it and so you can take relevant actions to get better. I hope it makes it easier for you to understand what kind of thyroid blood test you need to get now. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.